Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fairless, Stroker's Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Conchwally Garage. Good morning. You doing all right? Okay. Today is Saturday, March 16th, 2024, year of our Lord. This is season number two. Episode number 76. In today's show, we are going to cover River Rat, Ladies Night, and Strangers. Let's go. In My Life, the 366 Project. Coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas. The Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going to go back to 2006. So in 2006, my wife Susie and I had a dog. It was a Siberian Husky named Beamer. And so back then I didn't get up quite as early as I did now. Instead of getting up at like 1.30, back then I got up probably like at 3.30. Cause I like to be at work by 4.30. So I got up extra early this one day and uh, Sue's aunt and uncle, Uncle Art and Aunt, <clears throat> excuse me, Aunt Carlene were at the house, and I took Beamer for a walk. I used to like to get up and kind of walk through the neighborhood at 3 a.m., 2 a.m., and I'm walking Beamer, and we, we walked up the hill, and we live off of a golf course. There's a golf course right there by the house. Or we live on the golf course. And so we uh, were walk we walked up the hill. We were walking down the hill on the other street, and Beamer sticks her head down the. You know how they have the little gutters that go down. She sticks her head down there, and I I've got her by the leash, and I start to pull it, and all of a sudden I hear this noise, and it's. <laughs> Something's jumped out of that thing and it's grabbed Beamer and they're rolling on the ground and I'm like, what the? And I'm looking at this thing and this thing's attached to the dog. And it's attached to the dog and it was one of those river rats. that They're called nutrias. And this thing's attached to the dog and they're rolling around and the dog is yelping and this thing's making this hissing, growling sound. And then I finally I get it and I kick it off the dog and when I kick it off the dog, the dog takes off, and then that thing runs, and it grabs me by the leg, and I go down like this, and I'm laying on the ground, and I'm kicking it like that, and I kicked it off, and then it backed up, and it started running at me again, and I kicked it right in the mouth, and it let out a yelp and ran down, back down that gutter. I'm getting my heart rate up just thinking about it. Those river rats, I looked it up, those nutrias get about 20 pounds, and they get about a little over 24 inches in length. This thing was letting out a blood-curdling hissing and squealing. The dog was crying. I don't know who was scared of that nutria, the dog, or me. That was one funky day right there buddy I was horrified I got the dog the dog went over like you know 10 yards on the other side and waited for me and I said I help you why don't you help me if you've never seen a nutria they look like a beaver they look like a big rat so we always call them river rats, but sometimes you'll see them in the lake, you know, they're swimming through that lake and you can see them big old teeth sticking out like a beaver or a rat. That's why we call them river rats. But I didn't know they were aggressive, but I Googled it and it said if they were threatened, so I'm guessing that when Beamer stuck her head down that, she smelled it, she stuck her head down that, that drainage ditch she must have spooked it or it had babies down there or something. She came out of there just a squealing and jumped on that. Oh my God, it was scary. 
Okay, get a little heart rate going. Let's check that Chuck. Check that Chuck. Woo! I ain't getting this boy loves plaid. Yeah, I do. I don't like to brag, but I'm a plaid man here. So what you got there? Well, I've got a lot of... Uh, wait a minute. My wife may be listening. I have a couple of pair of plaids, see? So these are different shades of blue. A little tan, a little yellow. White stitching. Blue logo. White toe, white so Double blue racing straps. Two bin hose. One eye down. Double knotted for safety. Hmm. These are, say it with me, y'all. These are some handsome chucks. Let's check the office. Where will we go today? Hi, Ma. Okay, let's see what we got here. Open that. Okay, that picture there, that's me, some girl, and the king of custom motorcycles, Arlen Ness. So we were in Verona, Italy, and I was sitting there talking with Arlen, and I was the guest of the uh, Italian customizers in the Motorbike Expo in Italy. Coolest show I've ever been to. And the, this girl was promoting another show, I custom show, the UG 2012. And she said in broken English, can I have my picture made with you in Arlen? So that's what that was. Hey, look, it's Mama Willie Nelson, a picture for another day. Okay, let's turn that back off, get that. Turn that through there. The zap on the crapper. That's another day. Elks, Irving Elks, Lodge Citizen of the Year has his day. Huh, look at that. Never know what we're going to cover in Rick's office. Hi, Jack. Okay. Okay. Got that there. That goes back there. Do you like it when I cover my office? I'm still uh, heart racing on that river rat. Dad joke. R.I.P. Boiling water. You will be missed. Not missed. Missed. Get off the couch and motivational minute. To truly find peace, sometimes you have to be willing to walk away from people, places, and things that create all the noise in your life. What does that mean, Rick Fairless? That means get away from the blowhards. That means if you got somebody and he's just an idiot, you know he's an idiot, dump him. Dump her. Dump it. I dump that river rat. Tonight is Saturday night, ladies night. So we're going to start ladies night every Saturday night. I'm bringing in a DJ, DJ Cortez. He will play whatever you want to hear. We're going to have drink specials for ladies. We're going to make it pretty cool. So come on out for ladies night. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to leave you with this. According to the internet, you know that ain't wrong. When you had these dreams... And you know you're dreaming of something and you got some ancillary people in there. You can't dream of somebody you haven't seen. So when you're dreaming and there's people in the crowd, you have seen those people somewhere. Those are people that you have seen at some point in your life. And that, boys and squirrels and girls, is the rest of the story. All right, I got to get out of here. I got some river rat chasing to do. You know what a river rat looks like? Let me show you. That. Hideous. Got to go. Love you, bye.